Well, hello there. I'm Jacob. And I'm Luke. We are the Obi Thorin Alliance. And in today's video, we are doing a trailer reaction Miss Marvel Disney Plus show. Hit the notification bell, comment down below, are you excited of the show and your thoughts about the trailer? So, are you excited about the show? I have a lot of thoughts about the show. Uh, do you agree with me or disagree? Well, I haven't seen the trailer yet, but I am excited about the show because I, I do quite like the character of Miss Marvel. Um, I'm just intrigued how they're going to go about it in this show. My only knowledge of Miss Marvel is based upon the video game, um, and I quite like that story and origin story behind her, but I don't know if they could do it the same in this show, so I'm expecting something to be different, but whether it's going to be better or worse, I don't know. But I, I'm excited. I've seen some of the casting choices, and... I have faith in Marvel, so I, I, I have faith. So I, I'm assuming it's probably going to be good, but I don't know. Well, personally, from what I have seen, I think the game did a better job, but I can be presently surprised from when the show comes out, but just got to see how the trailer is, but I'm not generally uh, looking forward to this show as much as the other shows, but... Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. June 3rd. So, initial thoughts? I think it looks good. You said to me that you thought it was a bit Disney-ish, but I think they're going for that because she is young. You, you, like, you know how they, they reinvented Spider-Man with Peter Parker, with Tom Holland being younger and a bit more playful. I think they were going for that, you know. Kamala Harris is a, uh, no, not Kamala, Kamala Khan, whatever, whatever her name is. She is, like, who plays Miss Marvel, she's meant to be, you know, young. She's in high school. Like, she's meant to be interested in boys and she's obsessed with superheroes and she's a fan. And I, I think that's cool. I think that's what they're trying to play off. So I think it will be a bit silly at times and you're going to see this spin-off of her trying to save the world but also trying to just live a normal life. And I, I think that's what's going to make it cool. So I think the fact that it looks childish is what they want to go for because they're trying a, a different approach to superheroes that they don't always have to be super serious. I think from watching it um, fully, 
I think I like it a little bit more, but I think the main problem I have is that we know she eventually gets her um, superpowers, but I guess we eventually, there's no excitement to, you know, of how she gets her superpowers. Basically, the two concepts is, it's kind of like Spider-Man, but I think the Spider-Man movies will do it better than um, S. Marvel, because we, it's a common trend with, um, in her, like, her mind of, um, like, uh, her betraying of what she's thinking, and visually, um, it's been kind of done in other shows. Oh, I can see why it'd be good to, for kids. I just think my mindset is, I just, they're trying to appeal for kids, and I think the main problem is, is that I'm more used to, like, Doctor Strange and... Uh, I'm glad that they're doing a show like Miss Marvel to give, like, kids someone to look up to. I'm just not... It's not high high on my list to something like Moonlight. Like, if, if you ask me, what are you gonna watch more, it's gonna be Moonlight. Mm. I don't know if they're trying to tailor it towards kids. I think they're just ex really accessor exacerbating the fact that she is a kid. Mm. Like, I, I think the, the show is more going to be for adults, but I think they want to add that teen drama element. I think Miss Marvel's important to the series because... <clears throat> the universe, yeah. Because she's, uh, like... She is a fan of comics that gets to become a superhero. Mm. You know, what we've seen so far, there have been people that have, you know, been born with powers, been had powers thrust upon them... But she's the only person that's wanted powers and she's sought to get them and she's obsessed with heroes and she's going to have a fangirl moment, I'm sure, when she meets other heroes. Kind of similar to what we saw in um, Hawkeye uh, when the, the new Hawkeye met the original Hawkeye. She's like, oh my God, it's Hawkeye. Like she's like, I, th I just think it's building on from that. I think it's important being they want to add more female heroes to the catalogue. And also the fact that she is diverse and uh, I believe she's meant to be Pakistani. I'm not sure if they stuck with that or whether she mm. might be Indian or a different um, cultural background in this. But from memory, she's meant to be Pakistani. So they're trying to play, you know, that cultural card, they're being diverse. I think it's important for the universe to, to add that, to give people, you know, someone to look up to and... Being young, I think, adds a, a new element of excitement because they can only... S How many times can you just have another superhero that gains powers and saves the world? You've got to add a new element to it. And this time it's, you know, a, you know um, teenage girl dramas and dealing with, you know, like a, a culturally strict parent. You know, it's something, something different, you know. You've got to add something to it to keep excitement alive for future series. Well, Miss Marvel is an inhuman, so I guess they're bringing in that storyline with the inhumans, so I guess that will be interesting. I guess I'm, I don't know if you're more excited for the show, I just, I guess my mindset is it just doesn't appeal to me as much as uh, Moon Knight, for example, I'm just more excited to see, because to me, Moon Knight is doing something more exciting and different with the character of how playing with minds what um to me uh miss marvel is just doing the teen drama thing but in the marvel universe but with superpowers i think that's why i'm looking forward to it because it's different it's like moon knight is not anything different you know it's someone that's an, in an accident's happened to them and they've woken up with powers you know like she's i think it's a different spin-off to someone that's obsessed with superheroes and as a young girl so i think i'm looking forward because i think it's going to be unique the only thing that l looks like it's letting it down for me at the moment is the doesn't have the star power in the cast mm. but i think it will i i'm expecting good things from this show i really am so if you had to um like what we did with the boys trailer give it like your prediction for a score um when when it eventually comes out, what would your score be? From that, you know, I'm thinking it's going to be a, a mid-80s. I think it's going to have a lot of things 
cool about it, um, but it might get let down by its casting and uh, like the probably the. I reckon that the villain she's going to face is probably going to be pretty average. Yeah. But I think in terms of context and the story that it's telling, I think it's going to do a really good job of that. So I think it's going to be, you know, like a, a mid-80s and maybe might surpass that and be, you know, hit that 90% mark. What are you thinking? I'm going around a, a 70. I think you'll, you know, it'll do the um, different cultures thing quite well. I'm happy that they're doing that. I'm just not... Ish, I guess interested in the teen drama aspect. I think Spider Man. Uh, I think uh, we went kind of went through the Spider Man uh, experience. So I think yeah, around a seventy percent, but it could go up to a eighty um, percent. Not opposed to that. I I'm just more excited for Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts? No, just, you know, we've got to, to wait to June for it to come out. Um, I'm excited to see how they tell this story, but from what I've seen with the trailer, I think it's going to be a bit of fun. I believe it said June 3rd, so it's coming out the same day as The Boys. Uh, I think it said, I thought I saw the 8th. Oh, June 8th. No, I thought I saw it was the 8th, but it might be the 3rd, so we'll wait and see. Hmm. So... Thank you for watching. We are the Obi Thorn Alliance. See you in the next video. Let the force be with you. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.